is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time around, we're going to talk about how to remove a unit from an existing stack. So this is different than replacing a unit. This is you want to permanently remove this unit because you want to redeploy it somewhere else, or um, you know, you're, you're, maybe you're replacing it with different hardware. So maybe you have a 24 port and you want to replace it with a 48 port. You can't just do a, a regular replacement. You need to remove it from the stack and then add it back, add the new unit back in as two separate things. Um, but anyway, so we're going to look at our, our stack here with a show stack. Uh, so we have four units in our stack currently, two 24 POEs and two 48 POEs. Um, it's a closed loop stack, so it's it's redundant. Um, and so let's say we wanted to remove unit three, right? So we go into a stack, uh, and under stack we have unconfigure. And under unconfigure, we can either unconfigure a particular stack ID, which is ultimately what we're going to do here. You could do an unconfigure all, which says you know remove the stack from every stack member, including the the active controller. Uh, which I'm connected to right now. You could do a unconfigure stack unconfigure me, which is just this unit, um, or a stack unconfigure clean. So uh, the difference between a me and a clean is if I do a stack unconfigure me, it's going to restore back to the startup configuration uh, that I had on the device before I uh, before stacking was enabled. If you do a clean, it is going to uh, remove the startup configuration, the stacking configuration, and the original startup configuration and put you back into a, a factory default setting. Um, so we're going to do a stack unconfigure 3 to unconfigure unit 3. Um, so it says it's going to re, um, recover pre-stacking startup config in this unit and it's going to reset it. Are you sure you want to do that? So it's, it's going to reboot it. So we're going to say yes. So it's going to delete that stack boot up config. Uh, it's going to recover the old start of config, and then it's going to reboot that unit. So, um, now obviously you need to go in and change the cables, right? So, so once I once this device resets, it's going to come up in a factory default, and then we're going to have to, uh, um, you know, uncable that device. And so, what you should really do is uncable it right now uh, while it's booting. Otherwise, when it comes back up it may add itself back into the stack. So you should definitely unconfigure that before it finishes, uh, uncable it before it, un it finishes rebooting uh, in order to stop it from being re-added. Um, and then, uh, you know, once you're done that, do a write memory on the active controller and you're good to go. All right, so uh, that's it for that. Thanks very much and uh, we'll see you next time.